Here's the tale of the tape for the grand finals at long last. Fish against dice. Human against night elf. Starting map is autumn leaves, everybody. Fish certainly look very good against Razor Moon, but dice look like a killer against Hitman. We'll see. You can do it again. This is a different matchup. Here we go. That's the five. Here's fish in the bottom left. Upper right here is dice with the Ancient War at the shop. What's up, Farseer Micro? How you doing? Let's say so. O'Doyle rules. Is that what it is? Some of his name is? Was that Back to the Future? Don't remember. It was going to go scout. Now, will Fish play differently against Dice than he did against Razorman? Against Razorman, it was Expo Game 1 and Expo Game 2. Against Dice, will he go for maybe a greedy, cheesier build? Fish is kind of known for different cheese builds. Isn't he now? For the shop creep as well. Both players are going to be level 2 off the hop. But then, actually pretty annoying. If it didn't get ensnared, this ancient war could actually die. Because the wisp wouldn't have been able to repair. Wisp. We'll probably build a moon well. If it's at risk of dying. Which it doesn't seem to be. No denies from dice. Gets level 2 for fish. Circlet, level 2, and ring. Dice gets gloves the and purchases the circlet. Siege. A player's forces are under attack. So then fish gets the fourth farm, so it might be the expansion. But it's going to be late. <clears throat> it's going to be very late. Mantle of Intelligence. Peasants. No skills yet for the Demon Hunter. I think, yeah, Dice realizes he's good enough on his own. You don't even need to skill anything. And fish. Is he just gonna attack? Maybe he wants to solo creep the expo with militia while pressuring. Dice knows he's not teching yet. Dice should realize what Fish is going to go for. If he knows Fish is a player, he would know what's going on. Because I called it before it even happened. There's the militia. Archer goes down. And Dice is going to let this happen? If he skills immolation, goes the expo right now. Yeah. Oh, what a read. Nicely done from Dice. Huge read. He can get mana burn to get the last hit and immolation to completely stop this. Yeah, Fish has to give it up. Huge play from Dice. Huge awareness as well. And that's what, three peasants also? The cost of what? I'm not sure. So far, an archer, a moonwell cancel. And I don't know what else. Just staffs back. This will be detonated. Not detonated. Fish. He just calls militia again. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, are these both in detonate range? Yeah, they are both in detonate range. That's two wisps going down. This water elemental dodges the second Detto. Very deniable water elemental, but not. And Fish does manage to creep this. Is that level three? No. Demon Hunter. More footmen. Oh! That one does go down. It just needs a little bit more experience. Actually, he's just tacking. <laughs> what the? He's just tacking! Alright. He's just tacking. And dice. It's tier 2, but no Hunter's Hall. And no gold or lumber. That Moonwall, by the way, did eventually die. Um, so Dice not in great position either, really. 
There's level 3 from the militia creeping down here. Fish could be expanding right now. Can't help but think that the tech might not have been the right choice. Maybe we'll see. Boots. Yeah, there we go. War is done, though. Won't be able to eat through these trees to creep anymore. Gage is horrifying right now, by the way. Look at those items. Yeah, just a very late rifle caster for fish. But everything's going to be late for dice as well. Look at the lures. Only now. Another wisp going to die. Will it? It does. Oh, look. A lot of damage on the Dark Mage. Are under attack. Militia immediately to prevent the staff of teleportation to be used. No arcane tower. That would have been dangerous. Water elemental. Going to have to be dealt with. Oh, he sees both lores. Could he run back in? Is there a thing? A world in which he could? No, detonate would stop the water elemental. It was at risk. You're two almost done for fish. And now stab teleportation somewhere down here. Oh my god, look at the footman. Gonna be at least two, maybe three falling. Oh, maybe even more after that movement. Uh-oh. Fish saved so many footmen, but Dice just hits the timing to punish that. Almost level 4 Demon Hunter. Oh no. Yeah, he's just winning right here, isn't he? <laughs> it didn't look bad until right now, and now he's just sort of winning with 5 archers. And 1-0 for Dice. And they stop the elevation timing. So what map number two is. Autumn Leaves was a map played in almost every game today. In every series is the first map, and most of the best ones are on Autumn Leaves as well. Shallow Grave's still in the pool, though. Echo Wiles, haven't seen that yet today. Map number two is going to be between... Springtime Tatterners, Echo Isles, and Shallow Grave. All the standard maps in the pool. No Secret Valley, no Melting Valley. None of the valleys. It will be Shallow Grave, map number two. Reload in. I can't help but think, if Fish had actually just expanded, that game would have been a lot different, maybe. Regardless. Here we go, Shallow Grave, game two. Fish in the bottom right. Show me the Mountain King first. We never see it anymore. In the upper left, here's Dice. Never see Warden too often anymore, do we now? We'll see what the starting heroes are, although probably predictable. Inch more on the other side to not get creeps pulled onto it as easily. And will it be just Archmage or Demon Hunter, or will we get a surprise? Come on, Mountain King. Come on, Archmage. And Demon Hunter, standard. too crazy fish will he go there's a few different things fish could do i wouldn't call these standard strategies but i would call these fish strategies the one fish strategy would be uh tier one tower rush 
He does that a lot of the time. The second fish strategy we saw on this map last week was tier two. Picked up a Naga and Ivory Towers and pushed with just Footman, but that was because he got harassed and had no Lumber, so he had to go for that timing. Um, and then, of course, there's Expansion, and then there's just one base rifle caster, which are the two more standard approaches. Not perfect creep. And can you not get Lightning Shield on all three of the creeps? I don't know. You must be able to somehow. Certainly there's a way. And immediate expo creep for fish. Wisp does not get a value detonate. And the demon hunter is running across. Here he goes. Oh, he's going to creep. Immolation here. Yeah, there it is. Fish is going to get away with this creeping. Very difficult camp. Especially as a first camp. Call the inner fire. Intelligence and level 2 and crystal ball. Oh, yeah. Dice is going to GG once he sees that. Illusions. Fish seems to know that's an illusion, or he just doesn't care about these peasants. Oh, no. He, oh, no, he does know. Okay. I thought he was about to split them. Oh, he finds the demon hunter. He's just got to keep Dice busy for another 30 seconds. And he'll have his expansion. Good shape. Close to finishing. Can't help but think, is it a mistake for Dice to not go straight over to that expo? Even on level 1. I guess we'll find out. He's not even doing it now. He's just letting that expo come up. I should use the crystal ball. I imagine the pressure of the arch is a little bit more. And dice just tacking away. And lumber mill to block the demon hunter. There's no way of killing any peasants now. This is just a clean, what was it, three farm? A yeah, clean three farm expo with no peasant losses. In a lot of cases, this could just be GG or BG, if you prefer. these two camps better. At least you got that on him, Sithrin. And, okay. <laughs> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck could chuck wood? We'll soon find out. Because Peter Piper is picking a pack of pickle peppers right now in the base of fish. And soon he's going to be selling seashells by the seashore. But the demon is dead! <laughs> Alright. N.A. lol indeed. Safe to say, Fish is in a pretty good spot. He lost, what, two peasants? All right. Uh, Demon Hunter back from the tavern. A, a true hood classic. He's going straight across the map again. He's got no immolation. Does he even have enough mana to turn it on? I don't think so. Uh, dice? You're gonna have to TP, my man. Oh, maybe not. If there was stutter stepping, he would have been able to kill the demon hunter, but he didn't stutter step. <laughs> Arsonist had oddly large feet. Shop coming up. Demon Hunter is still looking for value, but he's just not finding none. But the Naga's getting some XP. Is there a counter expo? Lores? Anything? No. But oh, Demon Hunter actually can get in here, I think, because the tree was chopped. Game Tower. Cancelled. Oh, wait. Oh, he staffed in? Oh, he staffed on the... He... Illusioned, and then he staffed on the illusion. Okay, I wish we would have seen that, but... Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Move the peasants away. There we go. Oh, here's the Naga now. 
fish is finally healed up. I feel like that shop just took so long to be built. But yeah, still, the, this is blocked still. Is it not? I thought it was... I don't know. I'm losing my mind. I don't know, dude. I thought it was, but I guess it's not. Water elemental will prove me wrong. There it is. And now is he just killing him? With five archers again? I don't know how Fish is going to defend. He needs to call Militia, possibly. Push from vulnerability, Demon Hunter running out of health. He's lost almost all of his units. Oh, Demon Hunter. Again, no stutter stepping. Could have actually killed that DH. And no counter expo, just archers. So many low peasants. Demon Hunter full HP? He is, and he's got a staff preservation this time around. Demon Hunter with a vengeance. Ooh, Ogre Mauler. That is a nice purchase against archers. And the water elemental. Mud Golem. Doing a lot. Staff gonna have to be passed, but it's on cooldown. Wait a sec. Is there another slow? Oh, there's not another slow. Oh, he's tier 3, apparently. Marks the chip at Alchemist 3rd. Alright, this is just silly. And Fish trying to get some Sanctums up. Mountain King on the way. What are the Moonwells like, though? Very low. You can get Wellspring. You can get a Moonstone. The Mountain King is going to be so value, especially because there's only level 1 mana burn right now. And Demon Hunter. Not dodge, but is at least out of there. So many peasants are going down. Demon Hunter, Potion, Staff's back. Bolt, though. Wait, can he get the both uh the heal? Yeah, there he goes. And Mountain King is <laughs> dead. Alright. Demon Hunter. Staff eight seconds. Heal spray. Oh, five seconds. Four seconds. Demon Hunter dead, but the Archmage is dead as well. Oh, fish still trying though. He's trying to get the surround on the Naga. Counter expansion coming up. We're dice. Fish has no heroes left. And apparently no peasants anymore. Oh, Archmage back. Naga. Staff pass, but the Naga dies. <laughs> okay. This fish is still in it. Mountain King should be back soon. Indeed he is. Oh, wait a second. Alchemist. Careful, my friend. This archer. Omega value. I think I got a peasant or two. Oh, Mountain King has Aura now, so he might have another Stormbolt in time. Is this all heroes dead for both sides? Yep, Stormbolt. <laughs> Three heroes, and they're all dead. Oh, all the archers are dead? Okay, I thought Fish was losing this game, but... 1-1. <laughs> one, one. Definitely the stupidest game of the day, but uh, hey, that was fun. That was, that was definitely fun. Fish manages to make it work. Honestly, he should have won that game after you know you get a three farm expo up without losing a peasant. Yeah, you should. You should win that game. And maybe if he had defend, it would have been much, much different, but Fish did not have defend. I don't think at least. And one. Going into springtime now.
All right. Waiting on Fish to join one of these players after this map will be on series point. Waiting on Mr. Fish. A very different play style for sure, to say the least. But Dice with a huge mistake, obviously, in the early game with that Demon Hunter loss. And arguably a huge mistake in not running a straight across the map to harass the expansion. We'll see if Dice can clean it up a little bit. I certainly think he could have played that game a little bit better. But um, he's got plenty of games to work with. Best of five after all. And here's game three. Upper left, here's Fish. Bottom right, here is Dice. An ancient war at the mercenary camp is gonna for sure be a demon hunter again. The question for fish is will he ever indulge me and play Mountain King first? Probably not. Probably not. Archmage, Demon Hunter, no surprises. Boom, 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 boom. That's a really good music video. What a creative music video. All right, well, we see something crazy out of fish this game. Are we going to see the Tower Rush? I would expect him to at least one time in this series, do a tier one tower rush. At least once. We will see. Are under we will attack. see. And we will wait and we will see. But man, looking for that wisp. We're gonna come out and immolation is going to do a whole lot. What is it worth the detonate a wisp on the inner fire? Probably not with immolation. Like with a warden, it might be worth it to detonate the uh, inner fire. Parry up to vitality. Demon Hunter this time around going to go straight cross map as he should have. The detonate this time around going to do at least something. Kills the water elemental. Last game, the Wisp just died. So two things for dice. Going his way. It didn't last. Game and the ring. Level 2 for fish is going to help him out quite a bit. How well can he defend? He could build a farm here and just go boop, 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 back and forth. But of course, that would waste a lot of time when he's not building a tower or the town hall. So far, though, has split the peasants, fish, so well that Dice has not even used immolation. In fact, fish was going for a surround there because he's not even convinced. The dice has skilled immolation yet, but we know that he has. There's a priest. That'd be very, very useful. And this harass, uh, you could say, wasn't great, but it has deterred fish from expanding. Is fish just gonna attack? Fourth farm, no tech yet. Town is under siege. Base is open. No arcane tower, but there's just no health, is there? He's got to run away. Still hasn't even used immolation once. The fish goes across the map. Berserkers here, though. And obviously no defend for the footman, so enough damage to defend just two footmen and a water elemental. Fish now going to expand. Yeah, peasants go across. Gold peasants, okay. But they had gold from the other mine. Ugh. 
Doesn't drop the parry up, so the moon wells are dry and not overly efficient. Demon Hunter, less than half HP. And again, are we just seeing archers? The Hunter's Hall is on time for lores. I don't think he would build it this early if he was planning on just building archers. You don't actually need it until tier 3 if you're just going to build archers. Unless you really want ultra vision, I guess. This found. Okay, it's really not doing a lot of damage. Okay, so fish makes up for the lateness of the expansion by expanding with seven peasants. A lot more expensive, as shown by the no gold and no lumber. Okay, and tower needs to be protected at all costs. But won't be. It's going to be canceled. Yeah, there's no saving. Or is there? There is, somehow. Archer goes down. Berserker could be surrounded. Is Fish going to go for it? Yep. Does get it. Oh my god, Dice. What are you looking at? This Fish is just looking at these footmen. Looking at that dead Berserker. Looking at the Arcane Tower that's going to get up. Naga is here. Footman is a worthy sacrifice to get the Arcane Tower a on time. Are under attack. Naga, Archers, Dima Hunter, pressure in the Archmage quite a bit. We're going to need to shop Arcane Vault out of fish. And there is a single lore. And tier 3 tech for dice. And shop not yet built. Now will be. Power built, in fact. And the Archmage is going to hide in a corner. But can't hide by the creeps because this would be daytime. Even though he would like to get a Zeppelin, I would imagine. Just to keep that Archmage uber safe. Maybe even a Shredder soon with how the lumber's looking. Gonna be looking even worse after this harass, but hopefully for Dice's sake he doesn't do what he did last game. Demon Hunter, careful! But of course Dice knows that tier 2 is nowhere near, so no risk of like a Naga coming in, a Mountain King coming out of the altar. He knows the fish is very delayed on tech. In fact, so delayed that Dice is going to be tier 3 before Fish is tier 2? Yeah, he is. At least the Archmage is going to be level 3. Better late than never. Slippers of Agility going to have to be given up, right? And Demon Hunter comes back in. Boots of speed on both. The Archmage is going to have a Life on the run. He's gonna have to find a train and hop on it. Get out of town, get out of Dodge. Dye his hair like Pony Boy. Wait for Johnny to come and bring him to Dairy Queen. God, those burgers look good in that movie. Nothing like a 1950s burger at a fast food restaurant. It wasn't really fast food now, was it? A player's forces are under attack. Footmen could do some blocking, as could the Archmage. These footmen are not going to win this fight. This rejuve and everything. Naga! And that's a dead mage. Not even denied to the creeps, and that might be dice. Getting the second game. Well, the third game, but the second win. So all he's got to do is get tier 3, get orb, and break what is now the main base as Fish commits to the attack at the expansion. Yeah, even Ancient Wonders coming up aggressively. A player's forces are under attack. He's back from the tavern because he just needs it. More actually survives. Can even go to the red camp later on. Weapons up. Oh no, he denied it. Fish calls Militia from the expansion, I will note. He's going to get his own Naga. Yeah, there it is. The 
just has to be a little bit careful. He doesn't have a Staff of Preservation currently. He has a Potion of Healing to pass. Potion of Vulnerability. Rejuve over top. That's a healthy, healthy Demon Hunter soon enough. But the Naga cannot say that. Rejuve on the bear, not on the Naga. Wait a second. Fish could chase this down. Yeah, the Naga's going to die because he rejuved this bear that was almost full HP instead of the Naga. That is a mistake. That's a level 2 dead hero. Oh, what, a, what a weird mistake to make. Yeah, Fish finds a Naga kill. That's uh, Razor, Razorman. What's up, Razorman? No counter expansion. Dice is more or less all in. I'm gonna have to TP. Not quite, but almost, unless there's some block from the main. No. Oh, maybe? Kind of, but not really. Now I got back from the tavern. A player's forces are under this just has to hold for another 90 seconds? Those of you just joining us, that's a minute and a half. If you can do that, he's gonna have enough casters and then breakers as well out. Deal, so. Dice might have to think about counter-expanding soon. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. He might have one more fight in him, but if that doesn't do it, he's going to have to counter expel. And he doesn't have enough health on his Demon Hunter. Rejuve, though. Of course, no Priest with Adapt or Breakers yet to get rid of that Rejuve. Staff is on cooldown, swaps the TP. Yeah, now Dice has to counter-expand. Don't meet the tree, dice. A player's forces are under attack. Not as though Fish is in great shape, but his army is going to be super duper strong soon. A little bit more time to macro. He needs about another, what did I say, a minute and a half, maybe 45 seconds ago? He needs another 45 seconds. 12.30. We got a couple of farms, but getting upgrades anyway. Still very strong for dice. But what you see is what you get, because he can't really afford to break upkeep. Can, however, afford a tree in a little bit more lumber. But Fish preparing to push. Yeah, that's the thing. Fish can now just get heal scrolls like he is. Potion vulnerability. Get up to 70 supply. Naga level 3, Archmage level 4, and then just push. And this expansion is never going to start mining, so dice... Now he's in the position where he has to buy time for himself. For that expansion to start mining. And if he is able to creep jack this red camp, that would give him the time, because that would most likely force the TP. Footman finds a tree, or militia rather does. Four. He's trying to buy time by pressuring the expo. He's going to force a TP with this. Fish gets a red camp in exchange. Loses a rifle! Doesn't lose a rifle, okay. Gets Hood of Cunning. It doesn't have a... Oh, he does have a TP. Just wants to wait a little while longer. He needs to heal that rifleman up, though. Very aggressive TP. And there is no town portal for dice? Wait a second. Are these bears just trapped here? Dice has to fight his way out. I don't know if he's going to be able to. Maybe Hero Focus is to play, but this double heal scroll. All the bears are going to die. That heal scroll had super value. It's already one bear going down. There's potentially two more that are going to fall. Wait a second. Nice micro. Naga chasing with no cold arrow on. Fork Lightning was why he didn't have cold arrow on. And Dice is down. I thought he was going to win this game for sure after that Archmage kill, but Fish manages to make it work with I mean, his games are always so weird and messy, but somehow he consolidates. Makes it through. And that's 2-1 for Fish. One map away. Being the first human to win one of these weekly cups. What a guy. What a gamer. What a player. What a guy. Echo Isles is going to be the fourth map. Will it be the final map? 
Will it be the map we finally see a Mountain King? Will it be the map we finally see a Warden? Hmm. Have to see. Fish. Just waiting on him to join. The Archmage seems to be just be working out, though. Why would you switch? The Team Hunter hasn't seemed bad, either. It just hasn't really gotten much value out of the Harass, surprisingly. Normally, you see Night Elves do a ton of the expansion, but Fish always finds a way to MacGyver his expansion without losing too many peasants. Just through weird tactical plays on the map. And decent splitting of the peasants as well, I suppose. Fish does know it's a best of five, right? There's Fish, okay. Echo Isles could certainly be the weirdest game, or just the longest game. Echo Isles, in this matchup in particular, known for the macro games, but also known for different heroes. Also, the map where we could see an early militia cancel the Ancient of War at the Mercenary Camp into a Tower Rush. That's definitely a play we could see, but we'll wait. See how crazy Fish wants to get. <laughs> His game's... God, am I good at reading players. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> how good am I? How good am I? Me and Fish, we're the same brain. Maybe he doesn't want to play Mountain King. But hey, maybe he will eventually. But yeah, Barracks first. It's going to be a tower rush because he knows Night Elf players are going for this. I would love to see the early militia into pulling the Merc camp, which is why Dice builds the Ancient War so passively, but uh, still a tower rush. Is this a Tinker Tower Rush or a Naga Tower Rush? I'm not sure. Uh, Tinker Tower Rush was popularized by TH on this map, I believe, um, which is good because you can actually repair the Pocket Factory with the Peasants while you're tower rushing. Makes it really, really tanky. But the Naga is just overall better against the Demon Hunter. Um, so we'll see. Maybe it won't even be a tower rush. Maybe he just went Barracks first because he's going to go Mountain King and wants more footmen to creep the Merc Camp first. That's also been done before. But what's also been done before, time and time and time and time and time again, is Clan Shilpat with the 20 gifted subs. How you doing? Appreciate you. Good to see you. Make sure you thank him in the chat. If you got one of those 20 gifties. What's that put you at now? It must put you at like a thousand gift subs of this channel easily. Yeah, 1,283. Jesus. Thank you. Appreciate it. And Shieldbat also contributed, I believe it was $600, $700 to the prize pool for this tournament. The reason the prize pool today is at $100 and not 50 is because of Clan Shieldpad. And the reason it will be for the rest of the season is Clan Shieldpad. So shout out. And it is an Archmage. Why Barracks first? Is this... He's going to Tower Rush, right? Thank you, Magma. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, he's going to Tower Rush. Look at where the second footman's going. Look at it. And Warden! Oh, Warden. Not particularly good against Tower Rushes, guys. Do we have a Naga or do we have a Tinker? I think those are the two options. No last hit. Ring of regen, that's a Omega value item. Dark Ranger, is this a life drain tower rush? <laughs> Alright, that is not something I would have thought of, but yeah, it is life drain. And it is a tower rush, we see the lumber mill. Level 2, Ring of Regen, and Priest is going to make this actually very difficult to pull off, I would say, for Fish. Life Train on the Archer. Deny. Not too necessary, because I don't see the Warden getting level 3 unless the game is already over. But, um... Here come the Militia. What are the Moonwells at? 
empty for now, but the third one's up. That means 100 more juice. Mercenary access available. Archers can be produced over here. Oh, actually, not entirely available. He didn't finish the whole camp. Warden out of mana. Warden has to be careful not to take too much damage, because then the moon walls are going to get expensive. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shadow melt the counter of the life drain. Can't help but think that maybe Naga or Tinker would have just been better. But, hey... He's just gonna Shadow Meld again, right? And there's... <laughs> the Ring of Regen as well. Oh my god, it's so good. And GG. I mean, Dark Ranger? Really? Really? We're going game five. Fish just gonna cheese again in game five, I wonder. Dark Ranger. I mean, against a Demon Hunter, it would have been super sick. Against the Keeper, less because of Entangle, but against the Warden, maybe you just don't think about the Shadow Meld. I mean, even as the Night Elf player, you might not think of the Shadow Meld as such a good counter to Life Drain, but it is. All right, so we're going to the Tide Hunters. Damn, Fish. Going map five against Dice. All he's got to do is close it out now. <laughs> he went for the cheese. I said, we're going to see at least one cheese this series. A little bit underwhelming. Um, mostly because it was a Dark Ranger. But here we go. Tide Hunters, last game of the day. Let's see what we get. Back where I have every time the same casters, there's three of us. Neo, Remo, and me. I'm Canadian, they're both German, so sometimes I cast in German. Mostly in English, though. And also, because they're in Germany at these times, right now it's 8 p.m. where I live, but in Europe, most places in Europe at least, it's like 5 a.m., so I cast at this time a lot of the time, and they cast in the morning. Okay, there's the Archmage, and the Keeper now. Nice, switches it up. Yeah, I mean, Dark Ranger, truly Omega Lol. Player's forces are under attack. What is the play against Keeper nowadays? Do you just expand and just say thank you for the easier expansion than against Immolation? You might just do that. I think you have to expand against Keeper, don't you? Because Rifle Push is just gets owned by level 2 Entangle. You just run across the map and catch out the rifles over and over again. I think you gotta, you gotta expand against the Keeper. Or level 3 tower rush. Hey, Fish has done that before with an Archmage. Creep level 3. And then call the boys and go for the tower rush. During the Night Elf's tech. Let's see. Decided to make a big difference in the game. Doesn't want belt or slippers. Or rather, uh, boots. Both lost. But gets a flute. It's not too bad. Better later on than right now. Keeper with Treants. Taking a lot of damage already. Might get one peasant. Might get two even. Oh, no deny. One more peasant is that that's entangle unlocked for the keeper. It doesn't seem like Fish is gonna give up one more peasant. Oh no he does. Oh, that was the creeping down here. Three peasants, I believe. No, two peasants have fallen in total. Turtle goes down, but the archer is no match for the little turtle. Is this 
an expansion now for fish. I said the expansion probably necessary against Keeper, and seems Don't like Fish is going to agree, time. but it's a little bit late. Potentially going to be a four farm expo. No, it is a four farm expo because he has one in the lab, of course. Man, dice, what you gonna do? Apparently, keep harassing the mana he has left. Arcane Tower, nowhere near finishing. The Archmage is gonna be level three. With claws, the expansion. I, this is not looking great for dice. He's getting one more peasant. Not even one more peasant. But Fish is going across the map. The Keeper is going to use all the Moon Wells. The expansion is going to be... I'd say nearly unharassable. But the Archers are there, so maybe a little bit more than that. Claws and Circlet purchase. Yeah, so the Expo is going to be quite delayed. But the counter pressure is going to be a lot for Dice to handle. I would even say maybe too much for dice to handle. Oh, more peasants being killed. This this fish just put down a lumber mill? He killed the ancient war. Does he just put down a lumber mill? And tower rush? No, he's gonna go for the expansion still. But how do you defend this? How do you defend this? You have a level 2.6 keeper. If you can get level 3 keeper, that's how you defend, but. Your moon wells are going to be pressured. You're against an Archmage with insane items. There's all the moon wells used on the Keeper. Moon well dies. Detonates come in, but there's more water elementals where that came from. Keeper needs to get level 3. And will be able to... Off of this water elemental? Does. There it is. Okay, that's a, that's a big help. But he's nearly out of mana. That's the only entangle he has. And fish is now expanding. Players forces are under attack. Oh, look at the items. Naga is now here for Daiso. That's going to help out a lot. No lures yet. Not a lot of moon juice. And another water elemental is on the way. And so these two wouldn't do enough. Well, okay, that one. How do the Keeper and the Nage both heal up? They don't. Okay, there's an Entangle left at least. Moonwell's rebuilt. Lores on the way. Can Fish find them? Probably not. Oh, Naga does go down. Keeper actually chased her all the way. But she wasn't going to be able to heal up anyway. Kind of needed to die. Elemental. Dude, the, the item purchase. And it seems like Dice is defending. Just barely, but good enough. And his lords at least weren't delayed too much. Fish, a second Perrix coming up. He's just going to continue this pressure. Moonwell's dry in his daytime. I mean, Fish could go back to his shop, Clarity, heal, get a couple more footmen, and just go again. Dice, lures, a couple of dryads, a bear for Rejuve. Gonna make a world of difference, but Dice barely any gold currently. Mantle of intelligence! Oh no. Oh no, the items. Gonna make it very tough for dice with the counter pressure, maybe. Does he risk summoning treants? The tower. Oh, I can't even get the tower cancel. No, it doesn't. Wisp would be level four. Detonated? No, not detonated. Not looking good. Maybe you can force a TP though. Oh, an overstep. From fish, just TP, dude, just TP. What the hell, man? Why? What is this? I really think fish the game. He had the game if he just TP'd, but now, what the hell? What are you supposed to do? He just tavern revives it. Okay, that's all the gold invested though <laughs> into a tavern resurrection. Uh, 
The items. Oh, the items! <sighs> just barely. Just barely gets up. You know, potentially low rolls. Save that keeper there. And the Naga runs into the creeps. Whoopsie doopsie. How the hell do you heal this guy up? He needs bears. Bears are on the way. Yeah, this AM. <laughs> so sick. Look how fast he kills the dryad. Oh, no, never mind. Only now the tech from fish. Only now. We still got a game here. We still got a game on our hands. Question is for Dice, does he just counter expand with the space he's going to be given? Or does he try to win the game on one base? I think he's just going to counter expand. Look at the lumber though. Not great, he's rebuilding wisps. Sapper? Is he really pressuring the main base and he's gonna blind cancel the expansion with a single sapper? Or no, he's bringing it down to kill Moonwells. Or does he think that Dice just crept this expo? Is that what he thinks? Because he certainly knows that Dice is going to be building an expansion very soon. And, you know, if it's halfway through construction or less, something around there, a sapper is just gonna one-shot it. No cancel, all the gold loss. Is that what he's going for? No, he's just gonna kill the Moonwells. Needs to damage this Moonwell a little bit. Attack the moon wall a little bit. All right. Jesus. Dice. Supply blocked. Counter attacking, but there's towers on their way. Fish just TPing even back. Dice. Staffing now to his main army. Oh, careful with the arc mage again. Almost done. Do you get your own Naga at tier 2? Or do you wait for the Mountain King? The three towers. Fish could just sit right here. He'll be fine. Dice. Counter expand. You gotta counter expand. I know you need Moonwells as well, but you gotta counter expand. Now or never. Because he's still got enough time to get a second base up. There it is. And Fish isn't gonna have an army to break it before it starts mining. Like he did in the last game. The game before last. Springtime, that is. So Dice still has time to even out the economy. What's up, Tom? Valorant? A player's forces are under attack. Hey, and Tom, thank you for the uh, 16 months, dude. Of course, uh, Moonwell building repair. <laughs> yeah, true. Buff Moonwells, hashtag. Nerf farms, buff, buff Moonwells. And Fish continues to pressure. Is he still supply blocked? Oh my god, he's gonna... This Moonwell's cancelled. At least the tree will get up, and that's gonna give him 10 more supply. But even after the tree's up, he's gonna be supply blocked, kind of. 36 out of 40. Keeper needs to find some rifle kills. A town is under oh, the rifle micro. Oh, look at him. You can jive and dive and survive and even thriving, one might say, against Dice in game five. Storm Bolt, Naga. There's staff used. This is going to have to be a TP. You're going to lose every rifleman. He's already, he's, even if he TPs right now, he's already lost every rifleman. But is this Archmage enough? Look at the Archmage with the Water Elementals. Insane damage. Water Elementals getting plus three as well. Jesus. The items, man. He bought them, to be fair. At least two of them. Found the other two. Or the other three, I guess. But this Archmage is definitely what has kept Fish in the game and perhaps one in the series. He's got one more Storm Bolt. And block before he can get to the Moonwell. What did he just read you? He read you to Bear in the back. And Fish just throwing every unit away. <laughs> Level 5 Keeper.
Keeper. Oh, Keeper is dead. Is not dead? The Keeper's not dead. All right. Keeper is alive. Militia. <laughs> Tower Russia with two riflemen at 14 minutes. Keeper staffs back in, uses what's left of the moon wells. Last bear goes down. Mountain King being healed. Doesn't have a storm bolt. We'll just die. Naga again staffed. Expansion. Not mining, but wisps were remembered. <laughs> All right. Fish could have killed that keeper level five. Could it again? Oh! Whoa! The one thing fish could really improve is in the, those situations, stutter step in the Archmage a bit better. He could have secured so many hero kills this this just today in general. If he had done that a bit better. He sells a claws. Thirty-six against fifty. Mountain King back. Moonwell's still dry, but it is nighttime. And Wellspring just now finished. Oh, careful, careful, careful! He doesn't have a staff on the Naga. If the storm, if the, it's dead. The keeper's dead. Oh, I didn't realize the Mountain King was back. It was only level one. And now the Naga might be dying too. Fish realizes he can just kill that Naga. There's going to be both heroes gone. Did Fish do it? Did he do it? Sapper. <laughs> Come on, kill the Naga with the Sapper. Do it. Oh, he tappers back for the staff. A really nice play there from Dice. Good awareness. But there's no more Stormbolt, so he could do that to save the Naga. No nature's blessings, so the sapper could nearly kill the tree. Oh, two bears. Gonna do a lot of damage to these riflemen. There is almost a storm bolt. Sapper does land, but repair is there. Staff off cooldown in three, two, one. Naga dead though. And the slow the sork. Gonna force the staff out, but dice is forced out of the game, and fish with a first time win of maybe any tournament I've casted. Actually. Except for qualifiers. Fish. Dice has won it a couple of times already, but Fish never. And a human player never either. So, Fish. My man. Makes it work. Nice try to dice. Game five. But just doesn't manage to make it work against the Humba. My boy, Fish. Putting in work. Putting in work today. And three to two. Woo! Some weird ass games, though, I'll say that. Some very weird games. To say the least. But they always are when it's fish playing. They always are. That's it for the stream. Fun cup today. A lot of good games. A lot of good games. And there's plenty more good games this week. If you want to see what the schedule is, you can go to backworldcraft.com. That'll bring you here. Ooh, look at it. Tomorrow, TP League. Or that's even tonight. That's in... 7 hours and 10 minutes. Note, we're in um, daylight savings time here, so my times are all screwed up. Um, these are the actual times. If you're at least in my time zone, there's Creepjack after that. Then on Friday, TP League again, and then back to Warcraft Weekly Cup, which is at 11, actually, my time, which is uh, 2 p.m. EST, same time in Europe, because they're not at summertime yet, but for us, it's at 11 and 12, and nice to get to sleep a little while longer. TP League again, TP League again, ESL Medishaf again, Ted Cup starts again, apparently. Very cool indeed. If you want to see how you can support the stream, go to backtowarcraft.com forward slash support. That'll bring you here. Look at all the things. We have a Patreon. We have a Twitch sub. Shadow Clan Shield Pat for the 20 gifties. Uh, we have YouTube membership. It's a Twitch sub, but it's on YouTube. Uh, direct donations, crypto donations, merchandise. That's hats, that's hoodies, that's mugs, that's t shirts. Our lovely sponsors, exclamation point. Holy in the chat if you need energy at night in the morning before you game, before you work out, all that good stuff. Check out Holy. They also have iced tea. If you need uh, some meal replacement, if you need some nutrients, if you need some vitamins, if you need some fiber, if you need some protein, check out Huel. Exclamation point Huel in the chat. And if you need browser that has a lot of cool integrated features that can help you out as a gamer 
They have a Discord built in. A lot of other lovely things. Check out Opera. Exhibition put Opera in the chat. That's it. Dust League this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. If you want info on that, you can follow me on Twitter at CarsonNNC. You can just follow me in general. Follow my Twitter, CarsonNNC. Go there. Check it out. Woo! Follow me on Twitter. My, my followers have been stagnating. And then all the bots unfollow me, and before you know it, I'm below a thousand followers again. Come on. Come on, guys. Follow me on Twitter. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I stealth loaded your band saga to a friend's playlist. Hell yeah, Clyde Shilp. I appreciate that. Very, very nice of you. Very nice of you. Yeah, if you want to help me out with my band, you can do exclamation point Carson's music in the chat. My band has a single that came out. We're going to have a second single coming out probably beginning of next month. Something like that. Probably end of this month, beginning of next month. We'll have a second one. But for the first one, we're trying to get the plays up on Spotify or Apple Music, all that stuff. Uh, because it's good for radio. We're already on one satellite radio station and then one local radio station. Satellite radio, by the way, I just found this out this week. The pay is actually insane for satellite radio. It's ridiculous. It's unbelievable. You would never believe how much you get paid per play on satellite radio. I guess because it plays across the whole world. That's why it's it's insane. But if you guys could help us get our plays up on Spotify and Apple Music, uh, that means we can get on more satellite radio stations. And then we can make more music, release more music, and you get to see me naked in more music videos. So exclamation point Carson's music. If you give us some plays, even if you've listened to it, if you want to play it one more time turn it on five percent volume one percent volume zero percent volume give it a listen show it to your friends show it to your family if we can get it up to 10k it would be very very helpful to say the least uh it's at 8200 i believe right now maybe a little above that you guys have the power you have the power more power than i more power than anyone in my band you guys have the power appreciate you guys and i'll see you on friday hopefully i don't sleep in i shouldn't because i have an extra hour to sleep uh, but uh, yeah, I will be there on Friday for the Back to Warcraft Weekly Cup with plenty of more fun games. Have a good Nacho Wednesday. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.